Hello everybody and welcome to another video review. This time of Transformers Titans Return Voyager Class Broadside. As you can see here he is in his aircraft carrier mode. Uh, and it is effectively a large plank. As aircraft carriers tend to be. For accessories, comes with this translucent blue gun. Which goes very nicely in the light. Of course his Titan Master. Who, surely by the, the coolness of his name, I can remember. I believe his name is Blunderbuss, if I... I, I don't... Okay, I honestly can only, like, half remember. I think it's Blunderbuss. It might not be, but I think. And as you could see, the tower here can become a Titan Master seat, or a 5mm peg. That is one problem with this mode. These stands have a tendency to fold in. And if you're familiar with this toy, you already know a change I made, which we'll get into more in the next mode. Now, this thing, first of all, this landing strip here is all stickers, but it is from what I, I've seen very few copies where they're poorly applied or peeling. Mine are generally fine. But yeah. Also, this thing is just covered in Titan Master ports. There, let's see, there's one here, 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 and here. And of course, those are mirrored. Although, there isn't one here on this side. So, yeah, a ton of Titan Master ports. And to go with those, you get this little sprue. And although you can't really see it on camera, these are tiny versions of the Aerial Bots. Which, for scale, there's my silver bolt just about fits on my thumbnail, although you can't really tell. But, yeah, th this is a neat little inclusion. Of course, they have the Titan Master pegs on them, so you can peg them all over here if you wish. Now, for transformation, fold up the antenna on the tower and fold it underneath the vehicle. Take this back piece, fold it up. Actually, before you do that, reattach that there. Unpeg these sections and fold them outward. Now we're going to go to the official jet mode first, and then I will show you a fan-moded one. Fold these panels down. Flip the vehicle over. Then fold this panel underneath, so it is flush. Then rotate the thighs. Angle out these wing parts, which will look different right out of the box, but we'll get into that. Raise the legs up and clip them in, fold, bend them at the knee, and then fold the feet underneath and peg them into place. Then fold the wing slash fuselage sections to the back. And there you have the official jet mode, and fold those in. Yeah, there you have the official jet mode. And, uh, yeah, it looks good from about here to about here, but past that, this section does look very off. Now, the first of the ways to fix this is, you see these fins? In box, they are... On their other sides, and they're reversed. So they're pointing like animated Starscream's wings, with these tips toward the front on both sets. My way to fix this... Switch the sides they're on, and turn them around. That should improve the appearance. The first basic step. From there, unpeg the legs and fold them down. Which streams out, which streamlines the jet mode. 
then fold these panels back out. You'll have to move the arms out of the way for this. Then put the arms flush. And already there's a big improvement. Now for the feet, you can either have them hang under there, or what I do is I will fold them out upward into robot mode position. Because these little sections kind of imitate more tail fins. And there you have the improved jet mode. For Titan Master functionality, there are two pegs on either wing. And of course, the cockpit opens up. And you can sit the Titan Master in there. This jet mode is slightly less solid, but it does look better than the official configuration. And you can peg the gun here and have a Titan Master sit in it, if you wish. Now, from there, let's go to robot mode. Fold the shoulders back into their previous position. Position. Yeah. May have just butchered that word. I don't know, we'll see how it comes out on camera. Then fold this panel up again, and then fold the whole section down along with the cockpit. Pull the arms out to make room for these panels and fold them down again. Uh, on either version, fold these fins in, whether you've done the modification or not. And line up the feet so that wait you want to fold in the I don't, I don't know you will want the wings to look like this if you did the modification I told you about and you'll want the feet to line up Let's see if we can get better light on that like this then rotate the arms and fold out the fists Fold back these sections on the shoulders, or don't, that's up to you. Then press this button here to pop up the pylons. And then it's simply a matter of attaching the Titan Master and personal preference. Now, from here, you can either keep the wings out like this, which I believe is the official configuration, or fold them down. I prefer to fold them down, although it can limit articulation. And there he is in his robot mode. He can, of course, hold his gun. That's fine. Uh, for articulation, limited neck swivel because of the pylons. The wings can get in the shoulders a little bit if you have them folded all the way down, but they are swivels and limited upward joints on this hinge, but this hinge allows them full outward movement. Swivel above the elbow, 90 degree elbow, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. Slightly limited hinged hips, nothing too bad though. 90 degree knees, and nothing really useful at the ankles. So overall, what do I think of this figure? Well, the stock jet mode is crap. But it is easily fixed with fan moding, so that's no big deal. The gun is a little weird and clear, but it's no, but again, minor problem. The aircraft carrier mode is very good. The robot mode does look a little bit iffy, admittedly, but it isn't bad. The stickers can be somewhat problematic, especially those on the wings, but they aren't so bad that it ruins the figure. Overall, not highly recommended, but still recommended. So, it has been me, the fan of the internet. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I upload every Saturday and Sunday, and I hope to see you all next time.